In our classes so far, we had seen how to create a RTF template using the BI Publisher add-in for our MS Word and also we had seen how we can create a tabular view using the RTF template and populate the data and few more use cases we had seen in our previous classes. In this class, we will see, suppose I click on this PDF, I will be seeing the output data. So in this format that is, in each page we are displaying the five records. Now you might get a question like, in our BIP report, always we won't get the data. Sometimes we will not get any data, like our query will not return any records. So in that case, what will be the response which will show on the PDF output. So this we can customize and we will learn how to do the same in this class. First of all, in order to see how the no data report output will look like, so we have to generate our no data XML. So one of the ways we can give some dummy data and we can make sure no data is available in the response and then we can click on export or what we can do is when we earlier clicked on export, it had generated the XML file that is this file and it had multiple G1 segments which we are looping over here that is under the G1 segment if you see we are looping for each each G1. So what we will do is we will remove all the G1 tags from here in the report. So it's still here let me just remove all the G1 segments click on save. So we will be saving this as coadm underscore no data file xml file. Now I will try to load our sample XML that is no data XML click on OK I will get a message data loaded successfully though there is no data but it has some tags that is opening and closing tag for our VIP report that is data underscore DS then if I click on this PDF now I am just seeing this heading no data is there instead of this suppose if you want to show a message like no data is available then we will see how to achieve the same in this class so in order to achieve this use case we have to put the condition if data is present or if data is not present so again we have to make use of XSLT syntax in order to achieve this use case so in case of no data present this for each loop will iterate over each of the g1 segment since it is not there it was showing empty only the header we are showing because we don't have any condition on the header now we have to wrap this header on the table within a particular if condition and the syntax for the same is over here in XSLT in order to make use of if else condition we are having when condition that is under the choose so what we will do is we have to write first choose then we have to tell when so we will see if code combination ID, that is the count of code combination ID is greater than zero, means if at least one record is there, then we will put the table over here under this one. Otherwise, what we will do is we will just display the message saying data not available. Now I will put this over here. Let me just copy one of the tags and put it over here. Let me name this as data present start start tag it is now what i will do is i will remove this and i will rather put our condition that is this one wherein i am checking at least one code combination id field is there that is this one click on ok if data is there then we are displaying the table suppose if the data is not there we will display a message what i will do is i will click enter over here double click here we have to copy and paste the end tag for our end as well as the otherwise condition. So for more information you can have a look at XSLT choose condition that is when, how we write the conditions over here, what is the otherwise. So these are the XSLT syntax. Now here I will copy and paste this. End start we are doing here. We are displaying the table then we are ending the when. So either when will be satisfied or otherwise we will be satisfied so in otherwise we are just displaying data not available and we are ending this choose like in html we have to close all the tags which are started like here we are starting the choose and here we are ending the choose then click on save and click on this pdf now here since we have loaded our no data found xml we are saying data not available and only one page is there now i will upload my sample data which is having a data click on ok now click on pdf 
Now here if you see we are seeing the PDF which is having the data. Now again I will upload the sample XML which is having no data. That is this one. Then click on PDF. You are seeing in this PDF that is data not available. In case data is there then it will show like this. In case data not there we will get a message data not available. So like this we can create a RTF template in order to handle the data as well as no data found. Now let us upload this RTF template to our BAB report. Click on this create report. I will tell use report editor and click on finish. It will ask me to save the report. I will save this as report 2. COA report 2 and click on OK. Next I will upload the RTF using this option upload. Here I will select my RTF template that is this one. I will tell RTF template 2. And here type is RTF template and we are selecting the local as English. Where it is it's over here click on upload. Then click on view as a list. Now here I will tell default I want as PDF. Click on save and click on view report. Our PDF report got generated successfully wherein we are breaking the page with maximum 5 records or the 5 heroes. Suppose if you want to see the no data font let me just give some empty or random data and click on apply so that it will return nothing. So it is saying invalid number I think it's we have to give only the numbers. Let me just review the number over here some number random number click on apply. Yeah, we are getting no data available. So like this we can create a RTF template which can handle the no data found as well as when the data is available we can have another kind of layout. Like this we have completed the basic understanding about the RTF templates in our classes.